I, I was so nervous, but when I hit the red carpet, it was strange that I was so zen. So I have to tell you that one of my bags, they forgot to load on the flight and was left behind. So wasn't behind even in Paris? In my car. Oh man. So that's, that's when I kind of like, was like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Hi, this is Pooja Hegde and I have just completed my interview with Anupama Chopra and you're watching Film Companion. We're at the Cannes Film Festival and if you like the video, please do subscribe, share and like. Pooja, it's so lovely to see you in Cannes. It is, ma'am, uh, it is. I want to, of course, set context. This yeah. is our take two. Yes, we actually we tried, tried <laughs> to do this last night. Yeah. But there were fireworks, there was music, and yeah. here we are. Though this is gorgeous, so I'm glad. I am so glad we did it uh, today because uh, can't come all the way to Cannes and then just have a have night time. You have Correct. to see the blue. You, you have to I see mean? the blue. Yeah. Tell me, I know it's been a whirlwind two days for you. We saw you on the red carpet. We saw you at the India Pavilion. What all has happened? <laughs> what did you think of the red carpet? Listen, you look stunning as thank you do you. now. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it was crazy because uh, I mean, I have a great story to tell. So um, nothing lost there. But I did lose my luggage when I landed. Uh, they were left behind in Paris. We had a connecting flight. So we lost all our hair, products, makeup. We lost outfits. Uh, Thankfully, I brought a couple of uh, real jewellery pieces from India, which I had hand carried. So I was like, okay, so we landed, we had this upon us and we just had to like, we couldn't cry about it because we didn't have time to do that. There wasn't time to weep. There really wasn't. So I think probably my manager panicked more than me, <laughs> but I was like, okay, fine. You know what? Just let's get into the car. Let's do fittings here. I'll figure out the outfit and my team was there, my team ran, um, they got new hair products, new makeup, all of that, trying to make time and it was crazy. We've had no lunch, we've had sometimes uh, no breakfast. Uh, yesterday after our attempted interview, I went home and I had my first meal of the day last night, my dinner. Um, so it was pretty hectic, my, my hairstylist uh, had food poisoning so oh. he was like gonna pass out and he was doing my, my hair but I have a stand-up team I'm, I'm here because of them to be very honest but it has been crazy people think can is all about the glamour which it is it yeah. is about the fashion also besides film and art um, which is great because I think fashion is also another way to express yourself um, and uh, but it, there was a lot of work that went into it yes <laughs> <laughs> now, are you that person who will be zen like um, even when the luggage doesn't show up for an event as critical as this. So I have to tell you that one of my bags, they forgot to load on the flight and was left behind. So wasn't behind even in Paris? In my car. Oh man. So that's, that's when I kind of like, was like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> that was my first reaction when they told me, I said, where's my, uh, my, my makeup artist said, so we checked in your one bag and, our, and I'm like, there were two bags so one was left behind in India uh, and I lost I was like oh my god what, what's going on like my face really fell and then it turns out we had no bags <laughs> but by then I was so prepared because I'd already had my crazy experience but normally I'm a fighter I would right. say right um, I've grown up with a mom which was tough love uh, my mom was always very like come on get get to it you know like and find yeah. solutions and she's a she's a fighter she's a businesswoman herself she's done her law she's done her mba i come from a very academically driven background and i've always grown up seeing strong women mm. uh, and my mom always was like you know what do one thing cry about it for two minutes but that's about it right you know and then you move on yeah so and that's um, what you did that's what i did i was like let's just we're hustlers i think as indians we're just hustlers and like in the best way possible. In the best way possible. Yeah. Uh, so we did uh, disaster management and uh, it all turned out beautifully, <laughs> hopefully, on the red carpet. It well, nice. it's, a, it's your first can. It's a learning curve. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's all good. And, yeah. and, you know, it ended well with you I, looking amazing. Exactly. Tell me about that experience because, you know, I, I of course, was talking to Aishwarya yesterday and who, who is the can veteran, the can queen. Yeah. And she says, the red carpet is only as much pressure as you make it. Now, yeah. is that true? 
I don't know about that. I mean, honestly, um, I wasn't here with a brand this time. I, I've, I've, I've dreamt about working at Can, ma'am. Uh, but I was here as a representative of India. Mm -hmm. And I knew that uh, it's it's going to be also about what does she do, what does she wear. I mean, I, I, I'm also within India representing three different industries, you know. You have additional problems. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they're not problems. It's a, it's a responsibility. Well, you scrutiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I was like, okay, you know, it is going to be all eyes on me in terms of what am I going to do, yeah. what am I going to wear and um, also wanting to do it uh, in a very classy, dignified way as much as I can. And uh, I was very nervous, ma'am. I'm not really? going to lie to you. I was really nervous because I had a really massive gown yeah. and um, we had stairs, the iconic uh, can stairs. Yeah. And I am basically Po from Kung Fu Panda. As much as he hates stairs, I hate them too. <laughs> I always say I'm poja, <laughs> but um, I manage. I have to say I manage, and it was lovely. And it was it was like a I, I was so nervous, but when I hit the red carpet, it was strange that I was so zen. I was so calm. That's the exact word I used, by the way. I said I was so zen. It felt like a live performance, like I was on a runway. Right. right. And uh, I remember getting off it and. I looked at my stylist and I'm like, that was short. And he's like, you've been on for 15 minutes. And I was like, what? It's been 15 minutes. It didn't feel like that. Tell me as an actor, yeah. you know, how do you want this experience as short and as rushed as it was, but how do you want it to benefit you? What would you like to gain from this? I hope that um, I portrayed India in um, you know, in, in as true to being who I am, which is Indian, but also on an international stage. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like sometimes it's it's important to do that. Um, I hope uh, maybe somebody sees me and goes back and watches my film and understands our culture a little bit more because I think that films have this uh, magical ability to uh, give an insight into who we are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you watch even regional cinema, you get to understand them a little bit more, uh, where they come from, what is the world that they live in. Because even in India, we are so culturally diverse. We have different languages. We have, um, you know, the masses uh, live in, in different circumstances, which make them who they are. And if we just uh, live, their, live in their shoes a little bit more, we get to understand them. And I hope that somebody watches us um, and feels more connected to us as a country besides what they think India is right yeah which right. is the tech world and all of that <laughs> the IT and all of that which it is yeah uh, we are an intelligent country uh, and I hope they see the art and the the fun and the musical aspect of it too because that's part of our culture too uh, are there international aspirations do you want would you like to consider films abroad why not? I think that's great because um, there are Indians who live abroad, but I would like to do it in a way that is, um, it's not an Indian doing an Indian film, uh, or, you know, or playing an Indian character. I would sure. like it to be a romantic film where the girl and the guy, you know, it's not, they're not falling in love with the person because, oh, India, it's India. I would love it to be... You don't want to be, be slotted. Not, not slotted, but... Oh. Um, I'm saying like if it, in a romantic film, it doesn't have to be India versus America. You know what sure, I mean? Sure. I just it's want it to be uh, binaries. Yeah. like if a white person would play it, how would it play out? It would play out just right. about their emotions. Yeah. And I would like to do something like that because it's so important even for um, young girls to feel that they've been represented hmm. uh, in international films. So I would love that. English is what we spoke. I mean, I went to an English medium school. So um, I, I'm sure I would be different. I would act differently in it uh, because I mean, I, you've only seen me in like regional cinema, which I'm speaking a language that I really don't you know, know except for Hindi, of yeah. course. Yeah. Now Telugu, I have learned quite a bit. Uh, but it would be it would be great. Of course, I want to work with good filmmakers too. Um, and I'm not saying uh, it doesn't have to be an English film. I could do an Italian film. Like I would love to work like you know, anywhere across the world. Yeah. I think global cinema is something that we should aim for. Besides just Hollywood, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Pooja, in the last 
few months, you've had some massive releases like Beast or Radisham or Acharya that underperformed, yeah. right? These are with big superstars, big budget movies. Yeah. When something like that happens, uh, do you start to doubt your own creative instincts? How do you power through things not working out? Um, I mean, I think it's part of the game. Of I've course had it is. Six but back it's hard. To back, uh, blockbuster films and I'm so grateful for that because that's so rare yeah. to have six films in a row which have done phenomenally well. Um, I feel like every film has its own destiny. Uh, we, If I start taking my blockbuster hits as seriously then I'm going to have to take the ones that don't do well which will come eventually. They, they are bound to happen then yeah. I'm going to start taking that very seriously. Um, do I d doubt my instincts? No, not at all. I really don't doubt them because I know why I, I did each film. You know what I mean? Like I did Radhe Sham because it was a meaty role. It was something where I would be able to perform. I hope uh, filmmakers across the world saw it and thought, okay, you know, she was good in the film. Like maybe with a good director, maybe with uh, someone, maybe we could use her in this way. Right. Uh, we've seen her do song. We've seen her uh, being glam. We've seen her. but. Uh, was she real when it was supposed to be or did she do one scene truthfully? I don't know, yeah. uh, it, but I hope that happens, mm -hmm. you know. So I knew I was doing that because I was getting an opportunity to play such a um, um, interesting role for the girl in a commercial film, mm -hmm. which was going to be so uh, big. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I did it because of that. Um, uh, Acharya was of course a guest appearance. It was an, it was a cameo. I loved my role. I played a village girl. I don't know if you've saw, seen the film. I haven't seen it yeah, yet. Yeah, but um, it was a like de-glam look and like no makeup and like I, I was playing a village girl, a Telugu village girl with two chotis and oil in my hair. And that was something that was exciting because um, she was naughty, she was fun and people loved my part of the film. Uh, I got great, uh, I got a lot from it, you know, in whatever way. Um, Beast also, I mean, Arabic Kutu happened. It's fantastic. Uh, it's, it, it, I, <laughs> what a can song. I, yeah. <laughs> I heard you say that it was, what was the word you said? It was something catchy but something. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like such, yeah. a, such a sort of blending of so much yeah. and it works. It worked, it yeah. worked, uh, touch wood. Yeah. So how can I, I mean, it was so much fun shooting the film. Right. Like, I think Nelson's such a good director and like, I love Doctor. And I loved it too. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. I yeah. think he has a unique voice um, and um, I would love to work with him again. And Arabic Kuttu just gave me so much. It made uh, little children uh, come up to me and be like, I love it. And I mean, at the end of the day, we're entertainers also. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like bringing a smile on people space. I like uh, when they put on my music and they dance and they, uh, I mean people in Africa were doing it. People were in like, I got all of these reels that I was watching and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Like music has that power. The song had its own power and like it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're inherently, you sort of take the good from it and power through. Yes, I, like I said, my mom has always been like that way. I come from strong women. I mean, um, there are sometimes, I mean, I look back on it and I think, what could I have done dif differently? But I, it, at that moment, it was the right decision for me to take, yeah. right? Yeah. Whether it was Mohinjadaro, on paper, great film. It was Hrithik Roshan, Ashutosh Couldn't Gavarikar. have asked for a better debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah couldn't have. totally, totally. Um, I I don't sit at the edit table, ma'am. I am I'm I'm the actor. As long as I am giving my best to the film, uh, that's what matters to me, you know. And I'm gl I'm glad, you know. The reviews for me with Radhe Sham were good, like in terms of what I could give. So I'm happy. Yeah. Tell me about your foundation. Uh, in what way? Uh, what do you do with the foundation? Why did you begin a foundation? Oh, oh all about love. Uh, yeah, yes, it's all about love. All about yeah, love. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we're speaking about it. Um, uh, growing up, actually, I just saw Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres and all of that. They would, on their show, mm -hmm. they would give and it would make people so happy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, somewhere in my mind, I always thought that maybe when I make it, I want to be able to make somebody that happy. Um, 
and then I just started like touch wood God has been kind and um, I started doing really well and then I thought at what point do you feel like it's enough to give back mm -hmm. and then I said it's never going to be so I, I want to inculcate a culture of giving back so even if I make 100 rupees I would you, you, even even 10 rupees could change somebody's life. It could be somebody's meal. Uh, I named it all about love because I truly believe that love is the most powerful emotion out there. It transcends time, uh, space. Um, I think uh, Harry Potter actually taught me that. In, in Are own, you a Potter fan? I am a Potter nerd. Oh my God, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a complete Potter nerd. And uh, you know how they talk about like What love. house are you in? Oh, so I got slotted into Hufflepuff. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what about you? Did you ever do you it? You know, well, my, my daughter says I I didn't do it, but she's a big Potter fan. Yeah. So I, I think I'm Ravenclaw. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think sure. you would be a Ravenclaw. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give off those yeah, vibes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I thought I'd been, I would be Gryffindor, but I got slotted into Hufflepuff and then I read a little bit about I like how this has become about Harry Potter. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what but, did Potter teach you? You were talking about yes, that. Yes, about love. That, um, you know, the the one thing that Voldemort, I think this sounds really ridiculous, but the one thing that Voldemort yeah. underestimated was the power of the love. power of love. Absolutely. And that was the most powerful magic that yeah. kept Harry. So I, I just thought that it was such a beautiful theme that was so hi well hidden in the in in the series yeah. or even uh, something like Interstellar. Uh, I think what Nolan was trying to say was that love can bend time and space because Anne Hathaway felt that her partner was alive mm -hmm. and that was what was telling her let's go to that planet and at the same time it was a love between the father and the and the daughter that connected them so I feel like all these little subtleties about love I, I genuinely think ma'am that any act done out of love uh, it just it grows manifolds and it just comes back to you in a beautiful way. So I feel like anything that you do, so like during uh, COVID, we fed around, we gave 100 families uh, one month's ration supply, like basic dal, chawal, sugar, biscuits, all of that. So that happened. Uh, medical bills became something that we got into medical bills. And I didn't want it to be just about one thing. Yeah. Uh, I wanted it to be about anything, you know, because uh, the entire idea was, enrich empower and encourage right so you could enrich somebody's life you could probably empower them by making them pay for the education sure. and then you empower them yeah so um it was about that and i didn't want it to be puja hegde foundation because i wanted it to stand for something bigger than me i wanted it to be about something larger and i thought nothing bigger than love that's fantastic. Thank you. How wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, please continue the good work. And before I let you go, I know you have to get to the airport. Oh, yes. <laughs> you literally have a flight yes, after Yes, I this. do. Um, I have to ask you, any starstruck moments? I mean, uh, starstruck would be... I mean, you were on the red carpet with Tom Cruise. Come yes, on. it was. I mean, that was amazing. But I think, I, 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 for me, watching and seeing Remansa was like a starstruck moment. That's so lovely. <laughs> I mean, I think it's funny. I think I would be starstruck by, you know, meeting a bunch of people who I thought growing up like, uh, but it wasn't the case. I think when I met Gulzar sir, I was like, Oh my God, when I met Dravid, I was like, can I please have a picture? <laughs> when I met Ramans, I was like, can I please have a picture? So it was, it's the strangest things that get Wait, me Wait, you, you went up to ARR and said, can I please have a picture? Yeah, I, I did. Love I love it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, of course. So I get starstruck with the weirdest things, man. <laughs> it's Good really strange. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Good for who you. Else? Who else? Did who I meet? else? Tell me. Um, Gurinder Chadda, I met oh, her. Oh yeah, she was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw her from that far away. That was amazing. Yes, yeah, that yes. was great. Yeah, yeah. How lovely. So you've had a great can. Congratulations again, Thank and you. and hope to see you. And we'll do this all over again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs>